guys, so today I'm going to show you a beauty haul. So it's going to be things that I've picked up within the last month or so. I have things from Sigma, MAC, Shoppers Drug Mart, Walmart, and the grocery store. Weird, weirdly enough, I will find beauty products anywhere. So I'm going to jump right into it and I will start with Sigma. So I made a brush order probably three weeks ago now and I paid for the second layer of shipping. Anyone who's been on the website knows that you can usually get free shipping, but it takes six to eight weeks, which is insane. And you don't get a tracking number, so that's pretty scary that it could take upwards of two months and you have no idea at any given time where it is. It is to me at least. So I paid for the shipping, which is like 20 bucks, which is a lot, but I mean, the peace of mind of knowing where it is at all times. Um, yeah, and it came here in about a little over a week, which coming all the way to Canada and then where I live from the States, I think is pretty good. So picked up a few brushes. Now I already have a lot of brushes. Um, I'll probably do a like brush collection video or something sometime, but yeah, I already have a significant amount of brushes, but I wanted to pick up just, you know, kind of some like fluffer brushes, like brushes that aren't essential, but just are fun to have. Uh, yeah, so to start off, I got the tapered highlighting brush. It's just a tapered brush. Um, fairly small, but it is good for highlighting. Just gets top of the cheekbones, down the nose, that type of thing. Um, small contour FO5 brush, which is really good just to get into the hollows of your cheeks. Now, the only thing is, I also have the Real Techniques contour brush. They're not that similar in shape. Well, they're really not that similar. But yeah, I almost find the contour brush better because it's not quite as dense, so it blends out the color while you're applying it. So I don't regret getting this, but I do think I still prefer the contour brush. I picked up another large angle contour F40 brush. Uh, really, really nice for applying blush. I just find it applies it right amount in the right spot. Uh, two other brushes, Tapered Blending E40. This is by far one of my favorite brushes. I find it is just so good at blending out color. And then I got another small angle E65 brush, which is just a simple eyeliner brush. Now one thing that's great that Sigma always does is they always give you a free gift um, as long as you pay over a certain amount. So usually for the past two orders that I've put through, I've gotten a small blending brush. Uh, this is the E25 brush, which is also an excellent brush. So I was expecting to get that again because my last two orders I got it. But this time I got this little, I'll take it off the top, this little eyeliner brush, which I thought was so sweet, and it's in pink. Precious. So that's what I got. So I thought that was really nice, and I've actually been using it with my gel eyeliner, gel eyeliner the past couple weeks, and I really like it. So moving on to MAC. Uh, okay. Picked up a couple eyeshadows, just a few, no big deal. Um, they're cheap, right? Anyways, so I use my Naked 1 and Naked 2 palette a lot, but the downside of both those palettes is they don't really come with any matte shades. They come with a couple, but not that many, and if I was to show you my palettes, the matte shades are almost completely gone. So I picked up these shades just because I thought that they would help me better utilize my Naked palettes because they are beautiful shades, but the majority of them are shimmery. So I just picked up like staple matte shadows from MAC, like the most basic, you've heard about them a million times shades, but I've never had them and really wanted them. Thought that they could be good for eyebrows and things like that as well. So I will show you, this is what my neutral MAC palette looks like, or at least the majority of my neutral shades are in here. So the ones that I picked up are in this line right here. So we'll start with soft brown, then I got cork, texture I already had, uh, wedge, corduroy, ground brown, and mystery. Um, I can swatch these for you if you want. I'll just show you a couple of my favorites. I will swatch these ones. So this is soft brown. It's a really nice warm soft brown, duh. Um, but really, really nice for the crease, especially with my fair skin tone. I think that one's really nice. And my other two favorites are Wedge. I'm using Wedge for my eyebrows, and I really, really like it. And then also Ground Brown. Anyway, so those are the shades I've picked up, and I've been loving them just for pairing with my Naked palette, or on their own if you want to do much more of a natural look, like the no makeup makeup look. These are great colors for that. Uh, two more things for MAC. I picked up a new blush. Picked up Gingerly, which uh, I used in my Get Ready With Me video. So this is just a nice, they call it a Capri Bronze on the website. Um, 
I don't know if I would say it's a bronze. Like, I have Equilibrium, which was from a collection not too long ago, and that's a true bronze. This is more of a, I don't know. I find it's almost a little bit orange. Not orange, but I really like it, especially for this time of year, it's darker. Uh, and the last thing I picked up was a chromographic pencil in NC15 and W20. So, what I've been using this for is just to put it on the waterline, just to take away any redness and that type of thing. Um, I have the Stila eyeliner in... Sorry, here it is. Uh, I have the Stila eyeliner in pearl, which is really nice, but it's such a stark white on the eye that you can tell you have something there. This is a lot more natural. Uh, it doesn't give the same kind of pop that the Stila does, but I think it's a lot better for day to day or just for those days where you look really tired. Just putting that on the waterline looks like you're naturally more awake. So I'm going to move on to Shoppers Drug Mart. I will start with my All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray from Urban Decay. This is what the actual bottle looks like. I showed this in my favorites video, uh, but I picked up another one of those. Um, I also got the Viva La Juicy La Fleur perfume. I've been wearing Viva La Juicy, the original, for a while. It's actually completely, completely gone. I have a couple samples that I've gotten from shoppers over the past couple weeks, but aside from that, completely kaput. So I wanted to try something new. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Very juicy, cute, with some roses on the back there. Um, really nice. It's it's exactly like Viva La Juicy, but with a floral undertone. So, I mean, it's perfect for those of you who have Viva La Juicy or have tried it before and like it, because it's so similar that it's exactly what you expect. Like, it's Viva La Juicy with a little bit of a floral scent. Um, one other thing I picked up was the L'Oreal Color Riche Caress uh, Lipstick, which is more of a lip balm, in Cardinal Plum. Cardinal Plume, sorry. Sorry, and I speak French and I can't even do it. Uh, anyway, this is like a bright red, uh, but on the lips, it's a lot more jelly, so it's not quite as hardcore as it looks in the tube. Really, really like these, and Shoppers was actually having them on for $6.77, as opposed to they're usually about $11 or $12, so I thought that was great. Um, another good thing about Shoppers, similar to Sephora's, if you get them at a good time, they'll give you a lot of samples. So. Uh, myself and my friend were there and we were spending a fair bit of money and then they had had their gala Which is like a beauty gala the night before so they had some loot bag type things left over So they gave some to us which was really nice and a few of my favorite things that had come from that was Two Clarins products the Clarins super sort of day cream and they're pretty significant samples as well like it's not just a one-time use so that's that and the Claren Super Sort of Serum, which is nice too. Now these are for aging skin, but I mean, they don't seem like they have extremely intensive ingredients so that they'll actually damage a younger skin. Uh, so I'm actually pretty excited to try these. Worst case scenario, I'll give them to say my mom or something like that, but she has her own line of skincare things, so I think it'll be fine if I use it myself. Uh, another thing is a Advanced Night Repair Estee Lauder sample. This is a significant sample. I actually, was fortunate enough to get one of these a few, uh, probably like four months now, four months back, and you can't really see it, but it's to about here. Like I still have about a third of it left, and I use this pretty regularly. So having a second one, sorry shoppers, but I may never buy it because I think this is going to last me quite a long time. It's a very expensive product as well, like you know about ninety to one hundred dollars. So getting a significant size sample is phenomenal. Last thing I got for a sample is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Eyeliner, which is a retractable eyeliner with a smudger brush on the end. Uh, I got mine, I'm pretty sure, in black. Yeah. Yeah, black. Well, night day black is what they call it, but haven't used this yet. I'm not much of a retractable, you know, pencil eyeliner type of girl, but I mean, I'll give anything a try, especially since it's new. If not, someone may be getting this for Christmas. <laughs> Hopefully they don't watch this. Anyway, so moving on, I'm going to go to the stuff that I got from Sephora. So I was fortunate enough that one of my friends, her mom was in Florida and asked if I wanted anything. So she picked up two things for me. One of them was the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, which I love. Mm -hmm. um, I purchased this when I was in Montreal a couple months ago, but I purchased the smaller size, the one ounce. I think it was one ounce, one fluid ounce. This one's 3.4 fluid ounces. And I went through that like nothing. Like I went through it in a couple weeks, which might be like, am I ODing on, on Caudalie? I don't know. But anyway, loved it. The scent is a bit 
strong like it's very very herbal but it is really nice has a lot of for anyone who doesn't know what it is mm -hmm. it's just like essential oils and different things like that that are great for the skin just natural it says it's a smoothing glowing complexion elixir uh, for all type skin types but I really like it it looks a bit gross in the bottle like looks like oil and water but I do really like it. I just do a couple sprays before I go to bed so I got that that was uh, I want to say like $40 or $36 or something like that um, and the second thing I picked up or she picked up for me was the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Plus I've been using this foundation for years now um, it's a great non-SPF foundation just for any times where, I'm, where I know I'm going to be photographed or going to a party or something like that I like to wear something without SPF so there isn't that flashback the color I got her to pick me up in is 45 which anyone who knows colors for these is probably thinking girl how the hell are you going to wear that color because um, it is really dark doesn't look dark in here but it is like you are tanned if you're wearing this anyway what I do is I match it with my 20 which is for people who look like they're on their deathbed. So that's that, and I like to mix the two because I self tan, I use quick tan for when I go out and things like that, and I'm always a different shade. So, especially when it starts to wear off, so I like having a dark one and a light one so I can mix them and kind of make my own foundation color whenever I need it. So, that's that. Now, only two places left. I'll go with the grocery store. So I picked up three things from the grocery store, Dominion to be exact, because now they've, uh, anyone who's seen or, you know, is used to going to Dominion, they've really expanded their beauty section. Like, it takes up a full corner of the entire store, which I think is really cool. They have nice little signs. Like, they know what they're at. Anyway, so I picked up the color tattoo in 70 Barely Branded, which looks like that really really pretty um just neutral with some light shimmers in it. it looks a lot like bear study actually uh for mac the paint pop but it's not quite as pink so that's nice oh what a satisfying s anyone who has glass jars like this like that's it like that so satisfying anyway uh last thing i picked up from there is lashes so i'm definitely a lover of the lash um love popping these on when i go out and now this is like no surprise that I went out and picked up lashes, but these I just recently tried. They're 102 Demi's, um, like spiky lashes. They look really, not natural, but if you're going out to dinner or something, you want to look, you know, like you have a lot more going on lash-wise, but you don't want to look like you have fake lashes on. These are really nice because they offer some thickness like once every couple lashes as opposed to a full strip. So yeah, I recommend going out and trying these if you want. And the reason I picked them up at Dominion was because Dominion actually has the cheapest price for lashes anywhere in the city that I found. They're $4.27, I think. Walmart's $4.67. Sally Beauty Supplies like between $5 and $6, depending on if you have the Sally's card and if they have a deal on. That makes me sound crazy. Like I know the cent value of lashes everywhere in the city. So I just submitted that to everyone. That's embarrassing. Um, anyway, but yeah, Dominion, good for lashes. Uh, yeah, the last thing, oop, the last thing is Walmart. Good old trusty Walmart. So I got three, four things from Walmart. I picked up another Radiant um, Lumi concealer, Dream Lumi concealer. Sorry, from Maybelline. Mentioned this in my favorites video that I was running out. That's the one that's ran out, like completely, completely gone to the point where like I broke the bottom just trying to open it and open it because I didn't want to open this until I did this video, but um, so pumped. Anyway, yeah, so I just picked up another one in Radiant because a friend of mine, Sam, who also has a YouTube channel, which is uh, Mixed Reviews by Sam. I'll put the link down in the down bar. She's awesome. You can go check her out. Um, yeah, anyway, she had mentioned to me that Radiant is more highlighting than the other shades, like definitely has... Um, more light reflecting properties so I picked up another one of Radiant so picked up Radiant and then I picked up three lip products so two more of the L'Oreal Caress lipsticks this one is in Cherry Tool which is a darker red this is actually the first one I ever picked up like I'm not going in chronological order here but this is the first one I picked up I really like it and then I also picked up Rose Taffeta which is 174 which is, it looks like it'd be your nanny's color, but it actually comes out really nice and a light pink on the lip. So I really, really like that one, but it's still neutral because it's more of a rose than a pink. 
And the last thing I got, which looks like I'm two months late and should have got it for Halloween, is Revlon's Lipstick in 477 Black Cherry. Hello, here we are. This comes out really, really nice. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. Um, it's definitely not as dark as it looks in the tube. And it's really nice if you just pat it on your lips and then rub it in. You can obviously layer it for more intensity, but I mean, definitely probably only do one layer, maybe two. Um, and it wears off well as well. So I think that's everything. And I think I have officially reached hoarder status. Yep, definitely went overboard. And sad to say, like, even since my fashion haul, I've purchased more pairs of shorts and more dresses. Anyway, so, yeah, so I hope you liked everything. Um, comment down below if you want any reviews of any of the products. You'll probably be seeing some of them in my favorites for December, and I don't think it's fair necessarily to put some of them in my favorites for 2012, but there's definitely some strong contenders considering how they've been holding up for the past couple weeks. So yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them down below and comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.